All right, guys. Well, today's video is going to be a little bit of a short video. I need to make a little bit of an upgrade to my track. Uh, when I'm racing in analog or digital, I have nowhere to really put these controllers where they can't come off the table. So, you know, you put them here and they can slide. I mean, <laughs> you hit the wire, it's going to come down. So I need to make some sort of holders. And since I have a 3D resin printer, I am going to take advantage of that and try to create uh, some some uh, nice controller holders. So let me uh, show you the process. I start with Fusion 360, and I'm just doing basic shapes, uh, basic geometry. I get my holder to look the way I want. Then I bring it into the Leachy Slicer program. And then from there, I, I do any supporting that I need to do. And then I bring it to my 3D printer. All right. Well, this, the print has now finished. It's been about, oh, I don't know, five hours took to print. And I've got two controller holders. So let me uh, take them off the base. There's one. I'll put this into the cleaner, which is just IPA alcohol. Okay, there's that. Now we'll do the next one. All right, there's the second one. Okay, so let me turn this on. All right, I got it set to wash. I'm going to set it for five minutes. Got to put the cover back on. Okay. While that's cleaning, I am going to clean the build plate. And that's just a matter of hitting it with some alcohol. We'll just shut that in the meantime. All right, let's put this back on. And there's a little screw. It's on this side. So this is the outside. goes into the little slot up there. Okay, so that's done, ready for the next print. Okay, so these just came out of the wash. I'm going to take the, let me put this back. But now I'll take all my supports off.
and they should just snap right off. There we go. There's one. And there's two. All right. So I'm going to cover this up and I'll get this set up for curing mode. And once I do that, I'll bring you right back. Okay, so now I've got it in curing mode. And basically what it is, is you got UV lights, you got a little rotating platter, and this is going to spin around. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it for, actually, I'll do it for five minutes. Um, no, that's fine. That'll hit everything. You know, let, let, me, let me pause that. I'm going to set it up for five minutes. Start it again. And then I'll rotate them because the insides might not get cured as much. But I'll, I'll rotate them. So, when that's done, I'll bring you back. Okay, so it's, it's cured for 10 minutes. I had each one, I had each, uh, each bracket on both sides, you know, insides and then outsides. So these guys, I'm gonna let sit in the sun tomorrow. I'll do some sanding on the edges and put them up on the track. So where I remove the supports, there's just some fine little dimpling. So I'll take 100 grit sandpaper And I, I've just taken sandpaper and put them on tongue depressors to make a nice little little type of file. I've got different grits. I've got, this is the 100 grit. I've got 80, 120, and, and 220. So just a, a quick little hit with the sandpaper just to get the dimples off. So you don't need to watch me sand. I'll, I'll bring you back when I attach them to the table. Now, I just need to attach the brackets to the table, and I'm all set. Hopefully, I won't get, get in your way here. All right. Let's see if we're level. Okay, there's level. Let me put the other two screws in. I was probably in your way, but you'll see that on this side over here. Let's see. Beautiful. All right, let's get one more. Let's put that one over here. Again, I kept it about fingers width off the bottom. All right, let's check it for level. Okay, that's level. All 
All right. And there we go. We now have a proper place to put the controllers. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.